Tony, after a really spirited display against Erith Town on Tuesday night, we've come here today and turned in that performance. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we really have. I mean, I think, to be honest, Nick, that pretty much sums up our whole season. Is literally, you, you do not know on any given day what Holmesdale team are going to turn up. And I'm afraid to, t to say it was um, it was the really really bad version today that was um, that, that that played. And uh, I can't um, congratulations to Punjab. They deserved their win, and and they I think they just they just wanted it more. It's a bit of a cliche, but they just really did all over the park. They they won every first ball and every second ball and every third and fourth ball as well. Um, and we were just we were just slow. We were a yard off it. We were slow to react. Um, and we just didn't seem to have any real urgency or desire to, to to win the match. And I know that's not that isn't actually true because they want to win the game. And before the game, we you know it's a good atmosphere in the dressing room. They're saying all the right things, and you know it's another competitive game against a team that want to want to finish in the playoff places. So it's a good game for us to be involved in. And then we come out on the pitch, and it, it really just looked like we'd done. Um, we pulled the deck chairs up, and we, you know we've, we've got the sunglasses on, the pina coladas next to the sunbeds, and and we just we did a stroll up in the sun, and and, um, and that's what it looked like. It just was really lethargic, and and all over the pitch, just really, really, really poor. What'd you put that down to? I mean, were we slightly drained, maybe, from Tuesday night? No, the young, the young men, they're fit. There's no. Um, you know, phys physically they're ready. They're ready to go, and and all and all the teams have been playing um, a lot of midweek games recently and Saturdays. And uh, you know, I'm not going to make that as an excuse at all. And it was just a really, really da bad day at the office. So, uh, uh, ultimately, as um, as the manager on the day, um, whilst AC serving his little uh, his little sabbatical out, you know, you have to take responsibility because it's up to it's up to us as man as managers to pick the right team, say the right things, and get them motivated for the game. Um, you know, so so I also have to look at myself and say, did I did I do enough? But ge genuinely, it was it was a good it was good preparation. Um, you know, we we thought it was going to be a good competitive game, the same as Tuesday, um, and we we come out on the pitch and it was it was a complete opposite it was just really awful <laughs> I, can't, I can't flare it up anymore you just you've got to be honest about these things it was a really really awful performance from us it's another game where i'm struggling to remember a shot on target well that's because i don't think we had any um, <laughs> I, you know i don't know how many times their keepers actually had to make a save at all and um you know it, it, it's the thing is the difference between the two teams well one of the big differences is is that if you look at them, they, the pitch is, is not easy to play on at the moment because of the rain and the games are set on it is quite bobbly. Right? So it's really hard to play free-flowing, you know, sexy football, which is what all the teams want to do now. So, you know, they put the ball in good areas. Um, they, they, they put them in, in behind full-backs for their, you know, and for their wingers to get onto. And when they did, they were direct in terms that they drove at full-backs and they put balls in the box and they had shots and that's why Liam was the far far busier keeper and that's why they had, I don't know what the corner count was but they must have had double figures and I'm struggling to think if we had more than two or three in the whole match but that's because they was they was putting the balls in the right area, they were, uh, they were putting balls in our box and we were having to defend, we didn't do that, you know we always want an extra touch, an extra pass uh, and sometimes when the pitches are like this, like I say, you've just got to revert to the basics. You've got to defend well, you've got to put the ball in, in the right areas, and you've got to put it in the box. Um, we we have a, there's a real problem with our players, and it's been like this all season. They don't want to put balls in the box and do the percentage, uh, the percentage pass. You know, everything has to be, you know, precise. Everything has to be another touch, another pass, and, and uh, you know, that isn't that isn't how you always win football matches. You know, you win football matches by doing the right things, putting the ball in the box, and getting on the end of it. Asking them questions. Asking them questions. Exactly. Ask them to defend. If they defend well, good luck to them. If they don't, then we, you know, then you know, we we'll get on the end of it. But, and that's the thing. We don't. We just don't ask enough questions. And, and that's been, like I say, 
it's not just today. That's, that's been the story of our season, and that's something that next season we're going to really have to try and um, improve on. And looking ahead, happy for the quick turnaround <coughs> Monday to Fisher? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Um, could do without it on a bank holiday Monday after um, after that performance, having to drive to to Bermondsey, Rover Ivor, or wherever the hell it is. Um, Fisher's ground these days. I mean, I've been there a few times. I still can't remember. Bermondsey, yeah. Bermondsey, yeah. Next door um, to me. <laughs> next door. Okay, well, good for you. No, it's. Um, no, nah, not really. Could do without it, Nick. To be honest with <laughs> but uh, you know. Um, I think I've, I, the trouble is that's what it does to you. Performances like today, you know, instead of going, oh, you know, we've got beat and we've really put a spirited display in against a decent side, and you know, we've made them really work hard. It it deflates you, you know, you you you've, it just deflates it. It drains the life out of you, yep. and um, and yeah, by the by the time Monday comes around. Uh, thank God it's AC's last game, um, so he can come back in a <laughs> back in a dugout after that. But you know, like anybody, man managers and players, you know, we all we all feel it. We all, you know, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm down in the dumps. The rest of the management team are down in the dumps. You know, we need a we need a, a night to get over it as well. But by tomorrow, when the squad goes out for the game on Monday, of course, we'd have we'd have sort of. Um, you know, shooking ourselves, shaking ourselves yeah. out of out of it, and we'll be enthusiastic again, and can't wait, and can't wait for Monday. But but right now, I couldn't think of <laughs> anything worse than going down to Fisher on Monday afternoon. Well, we still look forward to it. Cheers for your time, Tony. Uh, thanks a lot, Nick, and uh, I'll see you Monday, mate.